Some are nearly two centuries old. Built on the rocky tip of Finisterre, out in the open sea, or dramatically perched on windswept islands, these tall giants of stone are forever captivating. Come on board, find the step. To get a closer look, you need to head out on a day trip, hopping from one lighthouse to the next. The Iroise Sea has the largest concentration of these beacons in the world. Lucky and Christelle are true sea dogs. They know the story behind each of these structures by heart. Our first stop is Wesson. Wesson is separated from the Molen Islands by this rift called the Fromver. Fromver in Breton means the big torrent. Located 20 kilometers off the mainland, the island is battered by some of the strongest currents in Europe. Over the centuries, thousands of sailors have perished in these raging waters. If you look at a map, everyone's been here, Greeks, Romans, Vikings, English. Sailing here was like Russian roulette. To guide the many ships that were threatened by the fog or the waves, five lighthouses were built on or around the island in just over 200 years. So there's the lighthouse of Créache, of Nividique, of La Jument, and the palace of the underworld, the Carillon. Built between the islands of Wesson and Molen in the middle of the Fromver current, it withstands some of the greatest storms that lash the French coast. The last lighthouse keepers left here for good in 2003. The keepers left with heavy hearts. It was a real vocation to be a lighthouse keeper. Louis Cozan spent two years in the lighthouses around Wesson. He's never forgotten a single moment of his life out at sea. I can still see it, hear it and smell it like it was yesterday. We lived almost like monks. One slept while the other kept watch. Four times a day we'd cross paths with a big yawn. The one who was working had to make no noise. It was all very hushed. There's no place more restful than a lighthouse. We head now to the south of the Iroise Sea, from the tip of Raz to the island of Saint. This is one of the most dangerous maritime zones in the world. Four towers light the way for boats here, and the most mythical of them all is the Armen Lighthouse. Armen is the symbol of our profession. Armen is the lighthouse, the king of lighthouses, because it's everything, it's extreme, it's a vital light. Way back in 1922, its keepers were stranded inside for 100 days with no fresh supplies. Those who built it were pounded by the winds and waves for 14 years. It's really in a very tricky location, and the stone is very low in the water, so they were forced to work at high tide. It wasn't built by stonemasons, but by sailors from the island of Saint. They could tell when waves were growing in intensity, so they knew when it was time to leave. Nowadays, all of the lighthouses in the Iroise Sea are automated. Their lights are controlled from this centre on the island of Wesson. These lighthouses might have all been deserted by their keepers, but the people of Brittany aren't willing to abandon these structures altogether. Three, two, one, go! These students have come to race up the lighthouse on the Ile Vierge. Oh, I've had enough. It's a clever way to keep fit and keep this maritime heritage alive. It's beautiful, it's very tall. We're lucky to be able to climb up here. It's the biggest lighthouse in Europe. I went in and thought it's tiny, but in fact it's huge and there are lots of steps. Almost all of these beacons have been classified as historic monuments. Everywhere across the Iroise Sea, lights shine bright over the Atlantic. 
a reassuring glow as winter storm clouds gather on the horizon. Syrian in the good west.